in the previous video we had discussed what is a river types of river and krishna river in continuation with the chapter major rivers of india now we'll discuss about kaveri river mahanadi river and narmada river kaveri river now kaveri in india the kaveri or kaveri in english is a large indian river the origin or the source kaveri river is traditionally placed at talakaveri kodagu in the western ghats in karnataka course south and east through karnataka and tamil nadu and across the southern deccan plateau mouth bay of bengal as you can see in the image as well kaveri river its source course and mouth so the source of kaveri river is karnataka and it generally flows south and east through karnataka and tamil nadu and across the southern deccan plateau emptying into the bay of bengal and the length of kaveri river is 765 km 765 km basin area the basin area for river kaveri is 72000 km now kaveri river covers four state and one union territory it covers the state of karnataka tamil nadu and kerala and union territory puducherry now you must be wondering what is basin a river basin is the portion of land drained by a river and its tributaries here you can see an image of river basin now kaveri river what does it provides kaveri river provides water for irrigation hydroelectric power now hydroelectric power hydro means water hydro power is the power that is generated from moving water such as river hydro power is a renewable energy source this means using a dam or river to generate electricity here is an animation of hydroelectric power and you can see in the image how the water flows and then water transforms into electricity next river river mahanadi mahanadi river in india the mahanadi in east central india it drains an area of around 141 141600 km square and has a total course of 858 km maha this word comes from a sun come is derived from sanskrit means vishal the river flows through the state of chatisgarh and odisha it flows slowly for about 900 km and deposits more silt than any other river in indian subcontinent now silt 
is the fine clay or sand that comes along with the flowing water. You can see in the image, Manadi River, the state of Chhattisgarh and Odisha. Earlier in Odisha, when it was called Urisa, Mahanadi was called a sorrow river because of the overflow, because of the destruction used to create. But now, as they've built dams, so now it is no longer a, sol a sorrow river. Our next river is the river Narmada. It is also a seasonal river. Now, Narmada is also called the Reva. It is a river in central India and the fifth longest river in the Indian subcontinent. It is a third longest river that flows entirely within India after the Godavari and Krishna lifeline of Madhya Pradesh. Now Narmada river is considered the lifeline of Madhya Pradesh for its huge contribution to the state in many ways. It forms a traditional boundary between North India and South India before draining into the Arabian Sea. As you can see in the image as well, how the Narmada River forms a traditional boundary between the North India and South India before draining in the Arabian Sea. So in this video, we have discussed about three rivers, Kaveri River, Mahanadi River, and Narmada River. These three rivers are seasonal rivers and they are not of permanent nature. So they depend on the rainfall. And they're also called peninsular rivers or non peninsular rivers. Make sure to revise the portion that we have covered in this video.